and then now it's time for your vows. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I can talk to them, you have to hold my hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so every, everybody else is telling stories, so of course so am I. <laughs> Um, I've known many of you for, for a long time, and it's so wonderful for you to, to come out and share this with me. I really appreciate it. As you know, I, I, I tend to filter between planning things and just letting stuff work out. It always amazes me how much stuff, you know, sometimes you really need to plan, and a lot of times stuff just works out. And I have found a wonderful person who is helpful to me on both ends of that spectrum, which I think is, is very rare, right? In terms of the, what, maybe 85% of things that I just go, eh, it'll all work out. I have another pair of hands and another pair of eyes and a, a totally different perspective and somebody at my back and at my side who can help me go, oh, it's not quite working out. Dink! <laughs> oh, it's okay now. <laughs> and then the other, 15-ish percent of the time when I actually get around to planning something. All of my plans have always had sort of an implied question that I didn't really have a good answer to, right? You have a plan, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to get this great job, I want to do this thing. Why? Why am I doing this? What is, what is the purpose of, of this plan? And now, I have an answer, right? Now I understand that one, not the only, but a key, reason for the, the things that I plan is so I can spend more time with you, so I can experience more neat stuff with you and do cool things and build cool stuff. <laughs> I like cool stuff. <laughs> I do feel like this is a time for, for telling stories and uh, one of my favorites starts as some <coughs> of my favorite stories do when I screw something up. I don't even remember what it was, right? But I did or said something and uh, it made Sylvan unhappy. And the way that she dealt with that fascinates me, right? She, she waited until we had some time alone. She came over and she's like, hey, Jeremy, I want to talk to you about something important. Great. So we, we went aside and I'm like, what's going on? And she explained very clearly, this is this thing that happened. And again, I don't even remember what it was. But she's like, you did or said this thing. And here's how I interpreted that. Here's what's going on in my head. Here's what I think about that. Here's where I'm at that has caused me to be unhappy. And I was able to go, oh, well, that's interesting, that's not what I meant, but I understand how you could get from what I did to, to there. That's Here's what I was trying to do that I obviously didn't do very well. Um, and we had a little a conversation back and forth that ended with both of us being able to go, okay, I see how you're filtering that, and how I'm filtering that, and how we got to this space. That uh, I shouldn't do that, I, I apologized. And, and we moved on, and, and uh, it was maybe half an hour later that it occurred to me, that was a fight. <laughs> we had never thought about it and, and that was it and we've had other fights uh, over things. And it was a, I don't mean to belittle it in any way it was very important I, I definitely screwed up but I thought to myself that's a fight huh don't fuck this up. <laughs> I very distinctly remember my next thought being, all right, no, keep this person. This is good. Because um, with, with Sylvan, you know, I, I get jammed tomorrow, and I get jammed yesterday, and I get jammed today. <laughs> it's okay, that wasn't for you. <laughs> Not till after the wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have a story to tell too. Very short one, I promise. It's me. When Jeremy asked me to marry him, my honest to goodness first response was, "Are you crazy?" <laughs> I, it took me a little while. We had this wonderful, casual relationship that was sort of not really like a major portion of our lives. We were happy when we were together, but I didn't feel like moving in with him. And at one point, I was expressing some concern that he might want to get more serious than that. And he was like, no, no, I promise. Promise! He <laughs> promised me that he would not try to turn this into some sort of big primary domestic relationship thing. And I've never been so happy to have somebody break a promise to me. <laughs> that was fabulous. Um, I had stuff written down, and I swear my brain has totally gone blank. I <laughs> can't remember any of it. Um, I need somebody in my life who is as adventurous as I am and has the courage to face new things 
and likes to try new places, new foods, and likes to just sort of sit and quietly hang out at home, eating or playing on the computer and doing not very much. And that, that balance is something that's been really important to me. And that ability to sort of go both crazy adventures and sort of quietly domestic has been one of the things that's made this work the best. Um, the qualities that I value in Jeremy are that, it, that sense of adventure and integrity and playfulness and silliness and responsibility and all of these things that seem like opposites but are important to me to have both. I, um, <laughs> you show me every day that not only can I have love and happiness of a partner and a companion, but that I deserve it. And I can't possibly express how much that matters to me. And I hope that I get to spend the rest of my life owning that gift and and showing you that you deserve happiness and love too. And that we get to spend the rest of our lives with you. The reflection of my top hat in her eyes is incredibly hot. <laughs> 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 I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> that is a good prize, man. <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> so, on behalf of the two of you and those gathered here, I pronounce you. You may kiss the bride. We have, we have a, or the husband. Are we kissing first? We're kissing first? No, no, we're tying the knot first. Well, did we have to do this with one hand? Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Manual dexterity is at a limited. So, uh, <laughs> Your first test is. We'll make this easy. Wait, but then, wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> Note that this was not rehearsed. <laughs> As I said, things just work so out. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Who invited the Rolosserab? <laughs> That's gotta be on your side. So have your lives gone. All right. Uh, let me sit the <laughs> cup. <laughs> this cup symbolizes all that life might bring you. Drink from it with an open heart and a willing spirit, acknowledging the promise to share together the fullness of life. All right, now you guys. <coughs> Woo! symbols are for. <laughs> <laughs> what was in the cup? Uh, no, we need a blade now. We need That's a blade. It's right next to the cake. <clears throat> what was in the cup? <laughs> Why rum and coke. <laughs> my, her rum, my coke. <laughs> <laughs> How are we supposed to do this? Messily. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> the cake top was off. I don't want filet of unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Write your own joke here. Here, 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 course. Remember, guys, it's about unplanned adventures. <laughs> <laughs> you have a nice 
knife in our hand. I'd rather not have that. And yet. The temptation to misuse this thing is enormous. <laughs> the cake or the knife? Shortest, but there's a balance. <laughs> <laughs>